Good and cheerful morning to you, dear students, and welcome back. Hope you all are fit and fine and taking care of yourself. So, back again with a new lesson EVS 1. Lesson number 11 A Look Inside Our Body. The title of the lesson tells you that you will be getting to know about the organs which are inside your body. Let us start the lesson with few questions. So students, can you tell why does the chest expands when we breathe in? The air enters the body when we breathe in. That is why the chest expands. Second, the doctor puts her fingers on your wrist to feel your pulse. You too can feel your pulse. What causes this throbbing? We can feel the pulse near the wrist because inside the wrist blood flows. This happens because the heart contracts and blood is forced forward. This causes throbbing. Students, all these functions are carried on by the organs. Let us see what is an organ. A part of the body that is used to perform a certain function is called an organ. Organs are of three types. Internal organs, external organs and sensory organs. Here is Chutki who wants you to recall which parts of your body do we use for the following? Seeing, walking, hearing, writing. Our eyes help us to see. We use our legs to walk. We hear with our ears. We write with our hands. What are external organs? Organs on the outside of our body are our external organs. Ears, nose, arms and legs are on the outside of our body. They can be seen easily. Hence, they are our external organs. Let us see what are sensory organs. Which part of our body are called sensory organs? Eyes, nose, ears, tongue and our skin are called sensory organs. And we have learned about them, isn't it? Why are they called so? These organs make us aware of the situation around us. So are called sensory organs. Internal organs. What are internal organs? The organs that are situated inside the body and are not visible from outside are called internal organs. For example, heart, bone, kidney, liver, brain. Many functions of the body are carried on by these organs. Now look at this slide. It shows the network of blood vessels spread throughout the body. Can you see the blood vessels inside the body? Blood flows through them continuously. The air we breathe in is carried to all parts of the body through the blood. The food that we eat is digested. These functions are carried out by different organs. Now students, it is time to learn about our internal organs and the function inside the body. Special places for internal organs. Look at the picture on textbook page number 68. What do you see? Yes, you are right. Some biscuits in a glass jar. If you shake the jar and turn it over, what happens to the biscuits? Biscuits in the jar could break into pieces. Let us see. If a pack of biscuit is shaken, what happens to the biscuits? Are the biscuits broken? No. Why? Because they are packed in such a way that they don't leave their places. 
There are many organs inside our body and each organ has important function to perform. Students, look at this picture. The structure of our body is such that our internal organs have special places and remain safe and protected in their places, no matter how much we move. Now students, there are hollow spaces. Hollow means empty spaces for these organs inside the head and the torso. They are called cavities. The cavity inside the head is called the cranial cavity. The cavity in the torso has three parts. The cavity which is in the chest is called the thoracic cavity. Please look at the picture. The cavity inside the abdomen has two parts. They are the abdominal cavity and the pelvic cavity. All the internal organs of our body are situated in these cavities and that is the reason all the organs remain safe and protected within the cavities. So student, now let's summarize. The important functions inside our body are carried out by our organs. The organs situated inside our body are internal organs. The organs situated outside our body are external organs. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin are our sensory organs. The hollow spaces for the organs inside the head and torso are called cavities. Different types of cavities are cranial cavity, thoracic cavity, abdominal cavity and pelvic cavity. So, this is all for the first video. Hope you have found the lesson a look inside your body interesting. Now you have a small activity. Find new words and write each of them three times. Keep learning till we meet again. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you.